let's check out this example about conservation of momentum. A stationary body explodes into two components, mass m and 2m. So you have two pieces. One is moving to the left and you have 2m, the heavier piece or the piece with more mass moving to the right. Okay. So the components gain kinetic energy X and Y, respectively. So because this is a case of uh, explosion, right? Because it explodes, all right? So it's probably some form of explosive or chemical energy that converts itself to kinetic energy, okay? So right now, you are asked to find the ratio of this kinetic energy of X to Y, okay? So let's think a bit first. Kinetic energy can be calculated using the equation half mv squared. Okay, so I have information about the mass. The left left piece is m, and the right piece is two m. But I don't really know anything about the velocity. Okay, but maybe I need to find it. So let's say this is vx, and let's this one be vy. So how do we find the velocity of a moving object whenever you are given a system? based on your Newton's law and also the conservation of momentum, the momentum will always stay the same. So right now, I know very obviously that there is momentum. For example, the momentum of this piece, I'm just going to call this piece Y and then the other one piece X, okay? So the momentum of X, PX is in this direction. And of course, if I want to find this, PX is MVX, okay? And then I know that Y has a certain momentum. So the momentum of Y will be 2M because it's double the mass VY. Okay? So what we really need is not the actual value of M or Y. We just need ratio. For example, I know the ratio of the mass, 1 to 2. Okay, so now I need to know the ratio of the velocity so I can input into the equation. So I guess the first thing that I will do is to use conservation of momentum. Okay, so I expect the momentum of the system doesn't change it's because there's no external force. Ma. You put a firecracker on the floor, then suddenly, boom, two pieces fly in the opposite direction. No external force. So this means the sum of the initial momentum will be equal to the sum of the final momentum. All right, so what's the initial momentum, teacher? They only give me after explosion. I uh, explosion. Ma. So if it's explosion stationary body explodes. You know how explosion works, right? You set up a firework, you put it on the ground, you run away, the firework chill on the ground, three, two, one, boom. So the initial momentum is zero because initially it was not moving. So from here, I can say the sum of the initial momentum is zero. So I'm going to put zero here. Okay, final momentum, you have your two pieces. So I'm going to add them together, right? So that would be uh, Px plus Py. But wait a second, they are not in the same direction. So one is going to move to the right, one is going to move to the left. So somebody needs to be positive and somebody needs to be negative. I will just take the regular sign convention. Maybe I'll take right as positive and left as negative, meaning this will be negative Px. Okay, so the negative Px here, this negative sign, it's because Px is to the left. Okay, that's why there's a negative sign. Okay, la, let me pull this, one, pull this one over. Don't want to see the negative sign. So Px is equal to Py, magnitude-wise. And I can say mvx is equal to 2mvy. So from here, I can uh, cancel off my m, and I get vx is equal to 2vy. So back to the question at hand. In this question, we are asked to find the ratio of x to y. Or in other words, we want to find the ratio of kinetic energy of x and then kinetic energy of y. Okay, so hence, x over y will be equal to, let me change color, half the mass of x, the speed of x squared, divided by half the mass of piece y, the speed of y squared. But the half and half can immediately go away, okay? And then you have mx over my. The ratio of mass of x is m. my is 2m. So the m and m is half, okay? And then one is vx over vy. 
So from this ratio here that I just recently derived, this one, if I want to find Vx over Vy, Vx over Vy, let me move the screen a bit. Ah, uh, Vx over Vy, I rearrange because Vx is 2 Vy. So Vx over Vy is 2. Okay, so this one will be 2, close bracket, square. So the M and M again will go away. And then what you have left is 4 over 2, because it's 2 squared over 2. And this is equivalent to 2 over 1. Okay, so the answer here is C. So there are two steps here. First step, we will apply the conservation of momentum. The initial momentum of the object is zero. The final must be zero as well. So which means whatever the momentum is to the left must be the same magnitude as the momentum to the right. Left and right cancel off, become zero. So from this uh, relationship, I have a ratio of Vx to Vy. And I know I need this ratio because I want to find the ratio of kinetic energy. To find ratio of kinetic energy, I need two information. The ratio of the mass. I need, I need ratio of m and ratio of V, okay? Which I use a conservation momentum to find. All right, that's it for this question. I'll see you in another recording. Bye-bye.